Hey guys, it's Gretchen and welcome back to my channel. So if you don't follow me on Instagram or Twitter, you may not know that I have two brand new tattoos. Not just one, two. My body currently hates me for doing that to itself because they're not small tattoos either. So I am in the process of healing two tattoos at once, which is something I have never done. And as such, it got me thinking. I have changed my tattoo aftercare routine since I made a video, I think like last summer, or maybe even in fall, regarding tattoo aftercare. So yes, I have since changed what I use and the like. And so for today's video, I thought I would not just do an update on tattoo aftercare for what I use, but also talk about like the healing process of tattoos. Because even though these tattoos were done within like four days of one another, they're both healing differently. They're both healing. Neither one of them are infected, but they're just healing differently. And I think it's kind of interesting. So I thought I'd talk about that today. So the first thing I'm gonna discuss is my newest aftercare routine. So if you've been watching me for a while, you know that I'm trying to weed out products that test on animals. I have even done that with my tattoo aftercare routine. I have gotten rid of products that test on animals and I'm only using products that do not. So the soap that I use now, I'll insert a picture over here of what it looks like, but it is the Dr. Bronner's All One Hemp Baby Unscented Pure Castile Bar Soap. It's a mouthful, I know. But this is a really gentle soap. It is fragrance free, which is what you need for tattoo aftercare. It's gotta be fragrance free and it's gotta be gentle. But Dr. Bronner's, it's made with like organic oils. It is cruelty free. I believe it's also vegan. And I have just absolutely loved it. I used it to heal my tiger. That was the first, no, that is a lie. I used it to heal my forget-me-nots on my ankle. That was the first tattoo that I healed it with. Then I used it for my tiger and now I'm using it on my squirrel and my hydrangeas, which are on my back. And I'll insert pictures. So here's a picture of my squirrel tattoo. She's on my right forearm right here. I got her July 9th. So she's a little over a week old. And then on my back are a bunch of hydrangeas picture here and I got that July 14th so it's like only a few days old so yeah I'm currently healing those two tattoos but that is the soap that I'm using it is vegan it is cruelty free just my body really likes it my tattoos seem to really like it and um yeah so again I don't have the actual container with me but I'll insert a picture while I'm reading it but for the lotion, which you should put on after you wash your tattoo, you can also kind of put a small amount of it on throughout the day as you feel your tattoo becoming really dry. Like it's it's the strangest thing and I'll talk about it, talking about how these two are healing differently. But my squirrel is very scabby and very dry, whereas my hydrangea is not so much. Now granted, the squirrel is further along in the healing process than the hydrangeas are, but I digress. So the lotion that I'm using now is by The Honest Company and it is the Honest Face and Body Lotion, purely simple. It is natural, hypoallergenic, and non-greasy, and it is fragrance-free. Again, key factor right there, fragrance-free. You don't want anything with fragrance in it, but it is cruelty-free as well. But I really like this lotion. Only thing that I don't like about this lotion is the fact that it doesn't sink in as fast as other lotions. Like I was using, I think, Lubriderm prior to going cruelty free with my tattoo aftercare. And it soaked in really fast. Like it didn't leave any kind of residue. You could see a little bit of a shine, but that was it. Whereas this lotion, it kind of leaves a little bit of a residue. It sinks in, but it's not as quick. So that's the only thing that I don't like about it. My forget-me-nots on my ankle, my tiger, both did very well with its use. And now I'm using it on my squirrel and my hydrangeas. So something that I have actually added to my tattoo aftercare since my last video that I put out, which I don't think was that long ago, but whatever. Update time is that I'm taking vitamin C, like gummies. I've always taken vitamin C gummies, but I kind of upped it during the tattoo healing process. So I just go to, I believe I got mine from Costco. So if you've got a Costco membership, you can get like the two pack and it's really cheap. You're only supposed to take like two a day. Well, I upped mine to like four and that's perfectly fine to do. You're not supposed to go out and eat an entire bottle of vitamin C gummies, but it kind of helps with the collagen and it kind of helps with, you know, the healing process. And I just, first of all, gummies are tasty as hell. So 
there's that. But I wanted to kind of help with the healing process along. So I am taking vitamin C gummies every single day, um, a little bit more than the recommended dosage, just to kind of help with that healing process. So those are the new items that I am incorporating into my tattoo aftercare routine. But now to talk about the healing process. So like I said, the squirrel is a week old now. The hydrangeas are only three days old. So there, there's about a, what is that, a four day difference between the two. I got one on a Monday, got the other one on a Saturday. So like four or five day difference. And I'm just noticing how they're both healing differently. And at first it worried me. I was like, it's the same body. It's me, I'm still doing the same thing with both of them. Why are they healing differently? And really and truly, it depends on a number of factors. Number one is the machine used. I did go to two different people for these two different tattoos. They both use two different machines. The tattoo is gonna come out differently in a way, if that makes sense. Another factor, colors. I found out that gray sometimes has a little bit of an off color while it's healing. At first, I was really worried because it was scabbing. And that's another sign of healing, but I've never dealt with scabs. My tattoos have all flaked and then been fine. That's it. I've never dealt with scabbing before. My squirrel, on the other hand, she's scabbing a little bit. And it kind of scared me just because I'm not used to it. But the tattoo artist who did my hydrangeas looked at my squirrel, who did not do my squirrel, and she's like, yeah, no, that's, that's normal. You're you're good, so I felt better about that. Colors sometimes can contribute to how a tattoo heals. So the color gray, I found out, um, will sometimes do that. Like looking at it right now, it's a little off color, but that's because of the scab. Another factor, how heavy handed the tattoo artist may have been. And a final factor, and I'm sure there are more factors, but these are the ones that I've just kind of noticed. But the final factor is placement, where it is on your body. So my squirrel is on my forearm. That's a little bit more of a sensitive area than say the back of my shoulder. Yeah, you can kind of peep the, the hydrangeas back there. So my forearm, inner forearm, is a little bit more of a sensitive area than say my back shoulder. So this one is going to be a little bit more sore than say this one, if that makes sense. Now keep in mind, everyone heals differently. And not just that, but you heal differently every single time. So there's really no way to be like, oh my God, can you tell me if this is wrong? Can you tell me if, if something's going wrong? Can you tell me if this is right, if it's fine? Because everyone is different, including yourself. Like the fact that my squirrel is healing completely differently from any other tattoo I've ever had. Like I said, I've never scabbed before. And the fact that all of a sudden this tattoo is scabbing, it freaked me out at first. But then I kind of read a little bit more and then getting input from an actual tattoo artist saying, yeah, that's fine, kind of put my mind at ease. But it's definitely an interesting process because you'd think that your body heals the same way every single time. It doesn't. Like something about my hydrangeas, the outline is raised, but the color isn't. Again, that's something I've never experienced before, but possibly because of the machine that she used, or maybe she was lighter hand or heavy hand. Um, I can't really tell the difference, honestly, so don't ask me about that. I can't tell who's heavy handed and who's light handed, but I just think it's different. You know, maybe even the brand of ink used. Both of my artists are absolutely amazing. I can't say, oh my God, she's like a better ink than so-and-so. Like, I can't say that because I don't know anything about it. I'm just like, you do pretty artwork, put it on me. It's just, it's interesting to see the process and how it varies every single time. That was kind of an all over the place video, but just kind of an updated like tattoo aftercare routine for me, as well as a signs of a healing tattoo and how they vary. Tattoos take a while to heal and sometimes tattoos, like the timeline varies again, placement, the size. My tiger tattoo on my thigh as massive as he was, was probably one of the best to heal. And like, he looks magnificent now, but all he did was flake a little bit and he was healed after two weeks. Like it was insane. Whereas I feel like maybe the squirrel is gonna take longer because she actually scabbed. So it really just depends. Like people always say, everyone heals differently. Every tattoo heals differently, even if it's on the same person. But that's it for this video. If you enjoyed it, please give it a big old thumbs up. Go on down there, hit that subscribe button wherever it may be because I would really appreciate it. You should also hit that notification bell just so you know, you know when I upload because yeah.
But until next time, bye guys. I will say something about all my tattoos. They all freaking itch. Like my squirrel just will not stop itching. I just wanna scratch her. Don't scratch though. If your tattoo itches, don't scratch. <laughs>